if you're pursuing a professional qualification, chances are that you want to end up in investment banking at some point. Uh, it's one of the most lucrative job opportunities out there for people in our domain. And uh, I thought we'd make a video around how you can make a career in investment banking. Obviously, there are no steps as to how you can get there. But what we've seen in our experience and how people end up in investment banking or, or these uh, learning pathways. So I'll discuss it in this video and then hopefully you have some good takeaways from this video. The investment banking that you've heard of is the glamorous one where you, uh, you know, you're able to work on uh, initial public offerings for various companies or you're able to get them. So in this video, I'll mainly focus on how you can get into investment banking at the back end first and then how you can make your way to the front end of investment banking or the glamorous part of investment banking, so to say. So the very first step to get into an investment bank is a professional qualification. A lot of mid-size and small-size firms are okay with taking uh, CFAs, but all of the bigger firms that you know of will require you to have your CFA and a MBA from a very, very good school. So that is your first step. Now, why do they prefer MBAs? Uh, of course, the skill sets that MBAs have, but also that networks and also the networks that MBAs bring with them. Again, it's very important when you're speaking to a client to be able to get a lot of things done for them through a phone call. And that is only possible if you have a very strong network. The second thing that you need is being able to understand how finance works in a lot of detail. So obviously you will pick this up from CFA, but then knowing the concept versus being able to apply the concept are two different things completely. Knowing how credit rating agencies operate versus how they actually grade the different borrowers or lenders is a different thing. So you need to know your concepts in detail. Again, something you will pick up in CFA, maybe work for a few years before you try to switch careers. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, communication. Now, if you're going to be an investment banker, you will be dealing with a lot of clients, probably big clients, and uh, you need to have very precise and clear communication with them. Again, an MBA will help you polish the skill of yours being able to communicate very, very well. And uh, finally, guys, start with any role that you can get in any investment bank. It could be back end, front end. Front end, you'll usually not get when you're starting. Back end or any other role that is even remotely similar to investment banking, start with it. Pick up some experience, learn your craft, and then you can probably make it into an investment bank. With that being said, there are a few other things that you should do. Uh, there are skills that you should pick up, uh, especially research skills with data and presenting a lot of information to management. So these are three additional skills that you should pick up. Uh, get good with Excel and maybe this will help you get into an investment bank at some point. If you found this video helpful, uh, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. We are committed to making more videos for y'all. Any questions that you may have or have not answered, leave them in the comments and we'll definitely answer those as well. Thank you for watching.